Hello, this is Bobby with Iconic Autos in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona. And today we have for you a very unique car. <laughs> this is something that that's probably the only one in the world. Uh, it's an electric EV 1966 Cadillac Deville convertible. Yes, it's a fully electric classic car. Uh, some may say it's the future classics. You can argue that. Um, <laughs> Uh, but uh, it's cool, nevertheless. It's uh, something very unique. We want something one of a kind. This is it. Uh, this car was built uh, in 2021 for SEMA uh, as a show car to, to show that, you know, something can be done is converting classics to electric. It's a company called Legacy EV, I believe, is the company that built the car and then used it as a show car for their company. Um, there's a whole, a whole bunch of stuff I'll write in the ad about it. Um, it's like a thousand foot pounds of torque. Uh, it, it's very expensive to convert a, uh, one of these to uh, electric, a uh, classic car. I guess there's like a hundred thousand parts alone. I don't know a lot about it. There's a lot on the internet about the car, features and stuff. It got a lot of press. Uh, they sold the car at this past Bear Jackson auction. Uh, if you're gonna, if you look it up, you're gonna see that's where it was sold. And uh, one of my clients actually bought it, a bunch, a bunch of other cars and this this wouldn't fit on the truck so he left it at my place to store it and just decided to just i don't know it, too, too many cars he got a lot of cars and just uh, didn't need it and uh, just go ahead and sell it um so it, it's you never even drove it i've drove it a little bit it's a cool car it's something definitely unique and different but uh, so if you guys want if somebody wants something that's really out of the ordinary uh this is it uh, and if you love electric cars, you should own this. <laughs> so, um, it's got the awesome set of wheels on it, the, the airbag suspension, uh, but really cool car. I, I talked to the builders of the car. They said they put like 1,500 miles on it. Um, I, again, I don't know a lot about it. I'm just going to write what I know, what it was written about it. Uh, what I can tell you is what I see. So, it, it was a nice restoration, but it's some stuff, you know, there's little things here and there that... I just want to be upfront with the next guy that uh, it could some, some things yet to do, or you can just drive it the way it sits. I'm a perfectionist, so I'm just going to kind of show everything that I think. It's got a nice pearl white paint job. All the chrome and everything is redone. It looks great. It will show beautifully. It's a great cruiser. I do these videos to show all pluses and minuses every car. Awesome set of wheels. These are the mimic the factory wheels, and it's got like so the spinner always the Cadillac in them always stay straight with the white wall tires. Um, got two dings right here. Something must have fell on it. Got the paint cracked a little there. You don't hardly notice it being white. It does not have wipers anymore. They filled them in, so it's a fair weather car. Uh, it's got one little crack right here in the windshield. You don't even notice it, but it's there. Uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna do the outside. You can see all the chrome on the top have been done. All the, these look all redone. Definitely spent a lot of money on this car. Nice straight down the sides. All the bumper chrome is redone. This is loose. You can buy these new, but it's it is loose. Or it might be a spring you can fix it. I'm not sure. I didn't dig into it. All this stainless and chrome is redone. The cool door locks, billet. All the uh, door handles are redone. It's everything there. The the what the okay. I'm gonna go on the interior here. Let's go on the other side. Uh, full disclosure. Uh, again, I think this car is just meant to be the top down, <laughs> like all the time, um, because a few little things. Um, the windows only work, all the windows only work from this panel. All the rest of the switches do not work. Uh, this window is like really, you gotta help it up and down. The rollers need to be replaced in the window. 
in the track but if you're just cruising it with the top down and leaving like this i would you don't have to worry about any of that stuff i'm just letting you know um, power seat the switch is broken here doesn't seem to work um little things like you know to cut the, the carpet a little too short there but you know if you just want a car to bomb around it it's cool for that it's just you know you have to get picky uh they put that they got a pearl steering wheel which is pretty cool the gauges the speed the uh odometer works the speedo doesn't work and none of the other stuff works really on it because you don't have it doesn't have an engine so uh you're not gonna get fuel gauge your gauge is in the back there clock doesn't work there's no wipers uh, it's got a nice stereo system in it does not air conditioning anymore uh the the uh sun visors are back here uh they won't tighten up for some reason you have to get down if you need new ones of these or what but you can just leave them off it's got a cool like roadster look so again just being fully transparent material though it is, looks really nice uh the soft top i have pictures of the soft top up it's an older soft top uh and again full disclosure i'm just gonna say everything i noticed with it uh, this top header bar, it's got a little bend to it right here. It's bent, so it's really tough. You gotta like really push it to get it to latch. But it's it's a nice top. It's usable, but it's not brand new. So again, I like to be honest with everything I sell. Uh, this, why that's loose, but it is. Some people just like to show you the good stuff. I like show sure everything. Uh, under the hood, you can see pictures. You don't see anything. <laughs> it's a, I mean, it's a really heavy lift. Uh, just a, it's a piece, the cup, piece and piece of metal that it's got a bunch of screws underneath there. It shows the motor. Uh, again, you can look online. You can see all that. And then in the trunk, it's all finished off, and it's got the gauge for the uh, for the battery and everything. Okay, so let's take it for a spin. There's no starting it. You turn the key. And this can be adjusted so you can hit a button and it like automatically go up. But I just lift it up all the way. There's two switches here. And it goes up. And this is one thing you gotta like, they didn't do this to the car, which I think, I don't know why they didn't, but it can be fixed. There's no park in the car. Like literally, it will just like roll back. <laughs> when you have it all the way on the ground, it stays because the floor, the, the um, frame hits the ground. But once you raise it up, make sure you have the foot on the brake because there's no park in the car. So um, it's something I guess you can have it do. You can add to it, but I have no idea how to do it. So the gear shifter doesn't uh, work. You use a button here. One goes forward and one goes back. Oh. So you go like that, and then it goes forward. It's got a great sounding stereo. I'm not gonna turn it on right now, but I'll take it for a spin here. Definitely a little weird driving a uh, classic car that's electric, not hearing the motor and everything. <laughs> But it's got a lot of power and um, it's cool, it's different. It's definitely a conversation piece. I usually drive in upper position. That's how you, it's got the fully toyed wheels. And it still looks good. I got pictures on it in a full upright position. Stops great. Uh, the bags will, when they full, they go. Uh, they, the tank's full, the bags, the pressure's shut off. It's a classic car, it's got a few little squeaks and rattles, but. Uh, is located right here in Scottsdale, uh, North Scottsdale, and if you, anybody wants to come to look at it, drive it, you're more than welcome to. Uh, the, 
directional work. Um, if you got any more questions, feel free to email ask. Uh, my questions are kind of limited because I don't know much about the car. All I know is really what I see and I can tell you condition and how it drives and everything. Uh, you know, you might have questions about how the battery, the battery range, how is all this stuff. I, I really don't know. I do not have the answers for you on that. Um, you can call the company that built it, Legacy EV. They can probably tell you a lot about it. Uh, or go online. I'm sure there's a lot of articles. Uh, I might try to link some of those. But where they talk about it and there's like news segments on it and all kinds of stuff. So it's been a, it's a pretty popular car. But thank you very much. Again, any questions, want to come look at it. I'll try my best to answer them, but I can definitely uh, show you the car. If you want to send somebody, you're more than welcome to. So thank you very much and good luck. Uh, you know, if someone they get this, if you missed it up there, there's another chance to buy it. I think they're expecting to do a lot more than it did, but we're, he's willing to take a loss just to sell it. And again, he never took delivery of it. So it's, uh, it's someone's, someone's gaining a lot here. No fees, nothing. So thank you. Bye.